I became interested in Barack Obama when I first saw him uh, going to politics uh, in Chicago. For some reason, I just took notice of him. Maybe it was some kind of aura that he has around him. I don't know. However, um, I just kept watching how the events was unfolding, and then next thing I know, he had went to Washington. You know. And uh, of course, that was four years ago. And here we go, four, t four years later, he's running for the highest office in the land, President of the United States. Mm -hmm. And he not only ran for it, but he even, in fact, won. Great name. <laughs> How about that? Great name. So, <laughs> damn the kind of man. During the election, I, uh, I worked the polls, and I was a judge at the precinct mm -hmm. where I was at. And um, so I was just watching all the people as they came in and how excited they were and eager they were to vote. And, and that just took me to another level of excitement also. So um, then after the, the voting was all over and I came back home, I went in the den in there and I uh, sat down and watched the returns. So somewhere around... 11.30, 12 o'clock, something to that effect. Um, they was beginning to announce that he was winning in this uh, state and winning in that state. And, and then the next thing I know, an announcement came over TV that he had in fact won, that he was the one that was elected over uh, uh, John M McCain. <laughs> I almost forgot his name. See how you can be history so fast? <laughs> That's the way it goes, though. Yeah. However, so after, you know, the the uh, voting and all was over with, I came back home and I watched the returns, as I said, and then uh, after he was announced the winner, um, I sit there and watched some more until about 1.30, and then I finally went upstairs and went to bed. And around 3.30, I woke up because it was just so much stuff running around in my head you know, that I felt like I wanted to write something about what I was feeling. And uh, so I sit down and uh, put pen in hand and I let it all begin to take shape. So I came up with this poem that I titled Barack Hussein Obama, which is the gentleman's name, full name, if you He came, he saw, he conquered. My eyes, they did behold Barack Hussein Obama, charismatic, courageous, and bold. From the shadows of our nation, he came upon the scene with his hope for a better tomorrow and a vision that is serene. His mission is to unite us, and this is why he's here. He's Malcolm's theme, he's Martin's dream, he's focused, he's wise, and he's clear. Forward ever, backward never, is the echo from yesteryear. As we march into the future, as a nation that has no fear. We've come a long ways, and this is true, that the road less traveled is wide. So let us now push forward with a commitment across the divide. We'll put aside our differences and push for a brighter day and let this whole wide world know we're united in each and every way. And that's my story. And I'm sticking to it. <laughs> <laughs>